Hey, it's Mike and I'm here at Holly Oaks Park in Michigan, off-road park to test out a charging station, a level two charging station put here by Jeep in partnership with Electrify America. So this is here running on the sun and to test this bad boy out, I've got a tough and rugged Polestar 2. Yeah. So I was here last week with an actual Jeep, not the plug-in 4XE that they offer, the plug-in hybrid electric vehicle, but just an old, nice old Jeep with a manual transmission. And I saw this bad boy here and I'm like, man, I really want to try this out. So I decided to come back with an actual plug-in vehicle and let's see if it's even working. It's hard to tell since it is only a level two system. And we're gonna plug it in and find out. The light went green. That's a good sign. And sure enough, the station is strobing. Ah, oh, man, I'm not good with colors. Purple, blue, you decide. I'm gonna go inside now and check out and see how much energy we're getting. It is a beautiful summer sunny day here in Michigan, so this is getting about as much sun as Michigan gets, so let's see how many kilowatts we're getting. The good news is we are getting power from the sun. The bad news is we're getting one kilowatt. This is level one charging, what we're getting. So needless to say, wasn't really happy with the output of that charging station. So it made me do something regrettable. I went and looked up the owner information on the Polestar 2 to understand what the display was trying to tell me. When DC fast charging, it'll indicate the kilowatts that the vehicle is receiving. Underneath that, it shows the amps and the volts. So you multiply 203 amps times 417 volts and you get 84,651 watts or 85 kilowatts. In the center display, it will allow you to set the maximum amperage of AC charging that it will pull when plugged into a level one or a level two charger. And the reason you do this is it allows you to lower the amperage being pulled in case you're tripping a circuit. So if this vehicle were plugged into a 50 amp circuit, maybe pulling 48 amps is just too much and it trips a circuit periodically. So to prevent that, you can back it down from this display. Now the cluster display looks a little different when plugged into AC charging, which you see here. It indicates the volts, so it shows 240 volts. I assume that's a nominal number, not the precise number. It's rare that you get exactly 240 volts. It's set to, it's showing that it's set to pull a maximum of 48 amps and that we are currently pulling 10 amps. So the vehicle is receiving 10 amps actual amperage at 240 volts. So you do the math there, I would say that's 2.4 kilowatts it should be receiving is the number I would expect to see. But the vehicle is indicating that you're really only getting about one kilowatt. Is that just a rounding? Is that an approximation? I'm not sure, but at one kilowatt, you would expect to get an additional four miles of range per hour. Electrify America has stations like this all over the country. They've sourced them from a company called Beam. They, the ones that actually construct the solar panel and the, the hardware. Electrify America provides a charging station. And according to the spec sheets, it should pull or should be able to deliver 4.3 kilowatts of electricity for level two charging. I didn't get to see anywhere near that. So I would be curious if you are near one of these charging stations and have an electric vehicle, take it there, plug it in and let me know what you think. Put it in the comments. I would love to see what your experience was if you were able to get more energy delivered or about the same. And there was only one vehicle plugged in at that time. So I, it's not like I was power sharing with somebody next to me. Thanks for watching my video. This has been Mike the Car Geek.